Hello everybody, my name is Miss Skelly and I will be taking your lesson today. This is your practice activity that you were set in the previous lesson. So in the red box there are some expressions and in the blue box there are also some expressions and you needed to match the red expressions with the red the blue expression. So 2 add 1 would match to 1 add 2. Both expressions have a 2 and a 1. In the first expression, in the red box, the 2 comes first and the 1 comes second. In the second expression, in the blue box, the 1 comes first and the 2 comes second. The sum of both expressions is 3, so we can use the equal sign between them. Three add four is would match to four add three. Both expressions both have a three and a four. In the first expression in the red box, the three comes first and the four comes second. Whereas in the second expression in the blue box, the four comes first and the three comes second. The sum of both expressions is seven. So we can use an equal sign between both of them. 1 add 6 would match to 6 add 1. Both expressions have a 1 and a 6 in them. In the first expression in the red box, the 1 comes first and the 6 comes second. Whereas in the second expression in the blue box, the 6 comes first and the 1 comes second. However, the sum of both expressions is 7, so we can use an equal sign between them. 5 add 2 would match to 2 add 5. Both expressions have a 5 and a 2 in them. In the first expression, in the red box, the 5 comes first and the 2 comes second. Whereas in the blue box, in the second expression, the 2 comes first and the 5 comes second. The sum of both expressions is 7, so we can use an equal sign between them. 7 add 3 would match to 3 add 7. Both expressions have a 3 and a 7 in them. In the first expression in the red box, the seven comes first and the three comes second. Whereas in the second expression in the blue box, the three comes first and the seven comes second. The sum of both expressions is 10. So we can use an equal sign between both expressions. In fact, I hope you spotted that you didn't need to do any adding up at all in this exercise, because all you needed to look for were the expressions that had the same add ends in them. So 2 and 1 and 1 and 2, they both have a 1 and 2. 3 and 4 and 4 and 3, they both have a 4 and 3. Because we know that we can change the order of the add ends and the sum remains the same. Here is an equation. 1 add 6 is equal to 6 add 1. What do you notice about this equation? Pause the video to have some thinking time or to discuss with an adult nearby. I've noticed that one and six are on both sides of the equal sign. On the first side, the one comes first and the six comes second. Whereas on the second side, the six comes first and the one comes second. Let's look at this as a story. Let's look at the first side again. First, one person is on the bus. Then six more people get on the bus. Let's look at the second side now. First, six people are on the bus and one more person gets on the bus. Both sides sum to seven. Because both sides sum to seven, we can put an equal sign between, bo between both sides as they have equal value. Remember, we can change the order of the add-ins and the sum remains the same. Here is another equation. Two add three is equal to a missing add-end add two. What do you notice about this equation now? Pause the video if you want some thinking time or to discuss with an adult if you can. Let's look at the first side of the equals sign. 
I've noticed that there is a two and a three. Let's look at the second side. On the second side, there is a missing addend, which comes first, and two, which comes second. Let's look at this as a story. Let's look at the first slide. First, two people are on the bus. Then three more people get on the bus. Let's look at the second side now. First, we don't really know how many people are on the bus, but we do know that two more people join them. I know that both sides are equal in value because of the equal sign here. Both sides sum to five because both sides sum to five and that there is an equal sign between them. It means that the missing add end must be three. Remember, we can change the order of the add ends, but the sum remains the same. Here is another equation. Three add five is equal to five add a missing add end. What do you notice about this equation? Pause the video to have a think or discuss with an adult if you can. Let me tell you what I can see. On the first side of the equal sign, I have noticed that three comes first and five comes second. But on the second side, I have noticed that five comes first and the missing add end comes second. Let's look at this as a story. I'd like you to get your hands ready. And you've got your first hand and your second hand. So look at the first side. Hand one has three fingers and hand two has five fingers. Look at the second side. Hand one has five fingers, but I don't know what the other hand has, my second hand, my hand two. But I do know that both sides are equal in value because I've got my equal sign here. The sum of three and five is eight. And because both sides are equal in value, that means that this side also had had the value of eight, meaning that my missing addend must be three. And remember, we can change the order of the addends and the sum remains the same. Here is an equation. Six add a missing addend is equal to three add six. What do you notice about this equation? Pause the video to think and discuss with someone if you can. Do you know the missing addend already? Think about our generalization below. We can change the order of the addends and the sum remains the same. Look at the first side of the equal sign. On the first side, I've noticed that there is a six and a missing addend, but on the second side, the three comes first and the six comes second. I know that both sides are equal in value. Both sides must sum to nine. Because both sides sum to nine and that there is an equal sign between them, it means the missing add end must be three. Let's play a game of true or false. True or false, two add one is equal to one add two. Pause the video if you want to think or to discuss with an adult. Now the answer is true. And the reason why is this. On the first side of the equals sign, there is a two first and a one second. On the second side of the equals sign, one comes first and two comes second. I know this is true because the addends are the same on both sides of the equal sign. On the first side, 
the two comes first. And on the second side, the two comes second. On the first side, the one comes second. And on the second side, the one comes first. In fact, with this one, I bet you knew it was true straight away because both sides of the equation have the same add ends, don't they? Yes, they're swapped over, the order's different, but that doesn't matter because we know we can change the order of the add ends and the sum remains the same. Here is your practice activity for today. I have written two patterns of numbers. Can you spot my pattern? And can you fill in the missing add-ends? Afterwards, if you would like a challenge, can you come up with your own pattern of numbers using some really, really big numbers? Don't forget, we can change the order of the add-ends and the sum remains the same.